Welcome back to a Malkavian LP of Bloodlines. <coughs> in this episode, I struggle in recovering from COVID. But more importantly, we'll go across the street here and go to the tattoo parlor, as was foretold previously. Mr. McGee has to be around here somewhere. Maybe he's getting a tattoo. Or not. If some of these are real nice. That one's striking. That one's cool. Can't leave the art appreciation just to the Tories. Besides, I'm pretty sure a Malkavian had to think up with uh, cubism. I know it wasn't Malkavian. Well, maybe it was. And down into a dark, dingy basement where there are sparklies. And a phone number. I assume we dial it up automatically. Do I speak with the guy who cuts people up? Hello, might I speak with Mr. McGee? No, only with his phone. Can you solve the mystery of missing McGee? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I also seek Missing McGee. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? He is a friend of one of my personalities. Oh, I, I see. Let us meet on this McGee-ish mystery. I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? Where is this devilish building? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. I look forward to buzzing your basement. Very good. And uh, might I say that you have the most colourful way of saying things. Very interesting dissection of the language. Well, anyway, speak with you soon. He has no idea. I colour the world with the hues of my madness. Farewell. Mm, nothing else here. Quick cash for modeling. Oh boy. So have you ever had COVID before? It freaking sucks. I'm not gonna lie, I used to smoke a lot of herb and I never caught it once. I went clean just because I'm looking for a new job. I do the, I'll do the whole fake piss thing. I'll actually show up. And don't, don't do it. Don't you block me. Oh, you <laughs> Back off. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Ah, oh, little lord. Right, right, I'm both with. The two puzzles are the same. I wonder if they're gonna try and surround the building. Hello! Welcome <laughs> to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, tell me your name, little lord. Oh, yes, forgive me, my name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Tell me of your life, then, Lord. Me? Oh, I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves um, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. A leg up. <laughs> Bloody clever, that one. Dude and his dad jokes. Let us speak of the mysterious McGee. 
Hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But McGee didn't show up for his mugshot. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. What about Carson, hunter of bounties? Carson? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Dig for this treasure, then, Lord. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. A moment is a slice of eternity. Farewell. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. No. Dude himself has got a hook hand. Hmm. You suppose he'll be back? Anyways, like I was saying before. Before I stopped smoking herb, I never really caught COVID. I work in a fairly public setting, and it was just strange that I never caught it. And then I stopped smoking because I'm kind of looking for a new job. Cannot stand my boss. Dude to dig. But, you know, flush out all that THC out of my system. Tolerance super low. Smoke the ball, I'd probably be on my back laughing giggling for four hours straight take another three to get back up but I stop and I get COVID so you let this be a lesson to you that lesson is yay drugs why blood everywhere does no one ever clean this shit up like I'm the vampire and even I would want this blood everywhere. Not on the floor, anyways. Put it in a gallon jug or something. Some receptacle. I'm not gonna lap it off the ground. Interesting. Get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimble? Who, Gimble? Yeah, Gimble. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Now, how do I open this curious cage? What are you doing well, here? darn. Ow. He's pretty good at that arm. Better than me. Listen here, I'm the vampire. You're the human. Probably. Just stay calm, Gimble. I'm gonna shoot you down. Got that crazy strength where he just doesn't care about pain Thanks, anymore. Man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Here's Johnny. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? In case you didn't notice, this ain't exactly the Tonight Show down here. 
kill Patrick, the key master sent me. You did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He has more bounties for you to hunt. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all Oof. through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Mm. I shall tell him his troubling, this troubling truth. Farewell. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Have fun. A severed arm. Might as well put two more bullets in. Imagine it's easier on a revolver than it is for a, a gun that takes a clip. I get the feeling McGee won't be getting up. Did you have anything in your room? Nope. And so ends the mystery of the prosthetic shop. Gibble is just as crazy as Malkavian. Does me proud. It's a shame I had to kill him. Let's go back to Arthur. Mr. Simplex too, and tell him the bad news. Probably where I should be. Fashion end of the world doomsayer. Hey Arthur, I got bad news. What's shaking? I found your hunter, but he'll not come back for hunt to hunt bounties. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? His itchy finger is a crazy trophy. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Mm. I need some green for my diggings. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Many thanks, my jello junkie. What about your other little bounty? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three <coughs> warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Sing me a song, Rotund One. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. You want to see if he still casts a shadow on the Lady of the Sea? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? No bounties will be safe for me. Tonight, I go on the hunt. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Hey, that's where I live. Hmm. What dark footprints has he left in the Sherwood's mark? 
Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that, small-time stuff mostly. I will go to the place of palms. That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading... At least one of myself has heard you. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Here, try this leading brand of chicken. I will wander until the words wiggle for my wigwam for a while. Some good f***ing chicken. So let's check the old quest log here. Oh, I should check my mailbox when I get back there. Probably has some shiny reward. Also, did I get any motherfucker? How does that keep getting flipped off? Hurry on your way to the apocalypse! Always room for heathens! There's no need to hurry. We'll get there one way or the other. If anything should hurry, it's the apocalypse. It's taken way, way too long. Hmm. Always at the five, five, five. One hundred and fifty. From the Jester Prince himself. Short changing me, the bastard. Five. Wait a minute. Sparklies. More sparklies. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. I get the feeling he won't explain jack shit. Racking up that experience. I wonder what I'd eventually spend it on next. I get the feeling it's gonna spend the points on another discipline. Dementation, probably? That makes the most sense. Oh, wizard of the shadows, I am. Thank you, Jester Prince. What next? Jump and bail. That's downtown. I can't do that yet. Carnival of Death. Uh, I haven't found any more clues on that. Well, I have to find... Therese Foreman. And we'll be doing that next time. Ah. Uh, effing COVID. Should have never stopped smoking. Well. Farewell, vampire.